So, what do you think Jesus is mainly talking about when he talks about not judging me, she be judged anyway? Now, does that mean you get to murder someone? No. But all you can do if someone tries to murder you is what? Forgive it or condemn it? <laughs> Those are the only two choices you have. <laughs> one might be of God, and one might really be of Satan, right? <laughs> But do you know which to switch? <laughs> no. Now, does your brother have a right to try and create a weapon to take your life? No, but the Bible also says no weapon formed against us shall prosper, right? Unless you make it greater than God. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, too. Maybe you're letting your brother kill you. <laughs> uh, or appear to, or appear to. <laughs> Whichever. Mm -hmm. But... It's over the same thing. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> Ain't it? <laughs> we, all, we all want that in some form. Gay or straight, Jew or Gentile, bond or free. We're all looking for someone to share our time here with, right? <laughs> That's how I see it as. Mm -hmm. Now, even if you're alone and you have someone stalking you, at least your stalker's interested in you every day. <laughs> or her, or whoever it is. <laughs> they don't think they ever want to leave me alone <laughs> if you get what I mean <laughs> um, all we do is talk about the same old things and the same old accusations that you don't take care of it 11 years later <laughs> you would take care of it then normally if it really went that far right or it don't matter what's the problem but it can happen to anyone too right if a four-year-old's waking me up in the middle of the night, who knows if the other two 12-year-olds didn't themselves, right? Or what really happened with uh, Jesse's sister, right? I don't know what happened there either, but she's around the same age, is it, right? But I know I can't just sleep with her when I'm about to turn 19, right? <laughs> and I don't try to either, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even make a move on the 12-year-olds, <laughs> That's what I was taught not to do, right? Once you become 18, you can't touch anyone under 16. Mm -hmm. And I was told that was the age of consent for the whole state, right? Meaning the female can choose sex or not sex, right? That's what I keep talking about, right? Because you have a problem with sex one way or the other. And uh, you can even be raped and holding a grudge against your rapist because you won't let it go. And, uh, I don't mean don't. Put the man in jail for it. I don't know. If he really raped you. I don't know. But see, that's the point. If my church experience is different than yours, you got to tell me your stance on marriage when we're meeting each other for the first time, right? I can't just assume you're waiting for marriage or not, right? And if you let me pull down your shorts and panties, that's when I have the opportunity to do sex or oral sex, right? I can do either or, you know that, I'm a man. <laughs> Unless something's going on I'm not aware of. Now, I didn't get in a relationship with Sheena just to break up with her shipmates. <laughs> either, either. But for some reason, she's breaking up with me 30 days later. When we get into port, <laughs> about a week after that, she sends me a uh, dear Tina letter. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh no, you don't know what you're doing wrong. <laughs> All I know I'm doing is writing her what happened to me before I met her that I didn't get to talk about in detail when we met at first, right? Telling her about Christian Fellowship Church, telling her about Pastor Davis, right? <laughs> telling her about Pastor Thomas, right? <laughs> Now, I didn't go into detail about all of it. <laughs> what they were trying to do. What they were trying to do. <laughs> One tried to take a shower with me. Pastor put his arm between my butt cheeks. All right. And again, Brother Dan tried to wake me up while I was having a wet dream, I think. <laughs> but like I was still see, didn't say that. <laughs> and he even brought it up to Pastor Thomas himself. I know he did. <laughs> 
So we know something going on at that church, at that church, that even the Baptist church didn't want us to say nothing about the camp counselor being with the 14 year old boy. <laughs> but that's going to confuse you, but not enough to go all the way there, right? Not yet, not yet, not ever, maybe. <laughs> Is there going to make you think they're acting a little homosexual and heterophobic? Right. Well, only a gay man will give another man a hand job easily, right? Now, I prefer one from a female. <laughs> but I don't want to come that way. <laughs> right. I prefer... Sex or nothing, right? Or a wet dream. I don't know. Can't really control that either. either. But that's the point. Satan's out to get us all. He don't want nobody to escape his hell. Mm -hmm. But that's why Jesus came in a way to liberate us all. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing about the loop is you start with Everything all over again the same. Mm hmm Gluten Adam and Eve, right? They're always our father and mother who always are tempted by Satan to sin and always fall into the trap. <laughs> if not, none of us will be here now. Oh, no. And we're all the Nephilim. Oh, no. We're all hybrids of some sort or another, right? <laughs> Even the angels in chapter 6 followed Satan's evil way, I know. And have offspring here when they weren't supposed to assume who will form and have sex with the daughters of men, right? Now, and use genes that they imagined they would have if they were human, too, right? That's why they produce giants with the women, right? Now, even if you have the child nine months later, right? I'm not saying... The child itself would have to be bigger either. And, uh, but it's what it grows up to, right? You know, every child's born of a woman the same way within nine months, period, right? <laughs> and everything during that time, right, is the same, is the same. <laughs> Unless, again, you're with someone who's what? Mm -hmm. Not about seven feet or taller? <laughs> I don't know. Now... For instance, my Aunt Janine had big babies with Uncle Stan, but again. And there, there's still chaos going on and all this, right? <laughs> and again, right? <laughs> Though the Democrats won the House too, right? <laughs> Though with Purdue and Oslo, it's a 5.5 .5 difference on the they might do a recalculation there. <laughs> but other than that, uh, Leffler lost to um, Warnock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but again, that's how these things go. That's how these things go. So, like I said, I voted for Hillary last election. She lost, so I tried Trump this election. He lost, but I didn't do nothing about the Democrats or Republican senators. Didn't vote at all, because again, I don't know if it's, you know, superstition or something. <laughs> or just because I'm a white-looking male. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and not enough of us voted, right? <laughs> I don't know. Or was trying to vote for Hillary last time, and I guess, again, enough of us in different states didn't vote for it. Right, right. So that's why we lost. And all you can do is prepare someone for the next election. you got to have more people to vote for your side <laughs> than 
the opposing side, and that's how you win. <laughs> you win. And about a quarter, a half of 300,000 people voted. 300 million people voted. Right. Still not everyone. <laughs> no. See, the 300 million is all adults over the age of 18 till the day they die, yes. <laughs> Who are still alive, right? <laughs> Say between 18 to 120, like Moses said. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but it's just a strategy whether it worked or not. I mean, Trump still could have won, you know. <laughs> but I'm just testing the waters or seeing if you're listening to other people. <laughs> yeah. It might not have imagined that I voted for Trump. <laughs> but, you know, you also don't know what to do in all situations. <laughs> Mm -hmm. but it was a test to see if he would win or lose or draw right? <laughs> only one outcome could actually happen now she wants to lose weight but I don't think she's a bad looking girl mm -hmm. but if you And that's part of the point. But see, I know I'm disabled. That's why it don't bother me. My weight gain. <laughs> I also eat the food I love. I ain't gonna argue with you, right? Now, if I was still uninjured, yeah, but I can stay just the same as I was in the Navy. I bet you could. I bet I could. <laughs> but I can't anymore, so I'm just being me. I ain't worried about it, right? Now, I could look worse or better, too, but you know, that's the point, right? Even Lizzo may be a big woman, but she's not unattractive. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I was even with big women and small women, right? It's not the point. I wouldn't even mind a, you know, little bit wavy Asian girl. Asian girl. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But I don't go after every Asian girl, whether they're wavy or thin or whatever, right? So I'm looking for, you know, one woman at a time is what I was taught. <laughs> you date one woman at a time, one woman at a time. <laughs> nah, 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 one woman at a time, da 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 Oh, I know, oh, I know. Now, unless y'all want to do a little menage a trois or something, I heard of that. <laughs> That's still up to the two women involved, right? <laughs> And I heard how Jacob had four wives and Abraham married after Hagar and Sarah. And <laughs> he had a few more children. And David had 17 wives and I'm about the same level there. <laughs> right. I had 17 women to wife and one of them legally married me. And that's all I know, right. Now, like I said about the things that you get in the mail or cleaning your house is a daily chore, but sometimes I can do it and sometimes I'm hurting real bad. <sighs> That's how that works too with arthritis. <laughs> but, you know, if I ain't got no one to help me, I oh know you ain't got no one to help me. You ain't got no one to help me, I you know. And it don't help with the diagnosis I got from the Navy, does it? Woman here, I'm schizophrenic. Either I tell her up front and she's afraid, or I don't tell her and she finds out later on. You know what I mean? That's a catch one, too. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
But I'm not trying to lie to her or trick her or hide anything. That's why I'm doing videos on YouTube. But this should be public by now. <laughs> this should be public by now. Everybody should know about Shane and Ruby by now. Whether you do or not, I don't know. <laughs> but if not, someone's suppressing even my story. Because it sounds too fictional to be true. But it is true. I don't know. It's true. <laughs> Yeah, what can I do about it? I, you know, my psychiatrist is uh, supposed to call me back and set up an appointment and all that. And trying to do the medication thing right? and all that, right? All I can do, right? Whether I'm taking half or a quarter or whatever, right? But like I said, that they are pretending I'm saying something different when I ain't changed my tune, right? I learned all this in the Navy anyway, I know. <laughs> I didn't know it before the Navy, right? <laughs> you could ask anyone I know, though. I wasn't all paranoid about everything until the shipmates got involved with me, you know? And I'm stuck on the ship with them six months on a six-month tour of the Mediterranean Sea, <laughs> I'm more worried what they're going to do to me than myself. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> but if anything made me paranoid, I'm sure it was being overseas with them. <laughs> and stuck on the ship with them and them not training me and not knowing what to do. Right. And then I meet a new girl. We do it under a tree and then I don't hear... From her, she breaks up with me suddenly. That either means she is right, me and the shipmates not let me get the letters and figured out what was a girl I was with. 